Hello friends, welcome to part 6 of the videos related to Shakespeare MCQs. Shakespeare jo ki bahut hi prominent English writer mane jaate hain unse related MCQs ko hum log cover kar rahe hain aaj kal in MCQs mein Shakespeare se related lagbhag sabhi plays ke sabhi concepts clear ho jayenge lekin in concepts ko in questions ko acche se samajhne aur yaad rakhne ke liye bahut zaruri hai ki aap Shakespeare ke plays ko sonnets ko already thoda detail mein study kare let us proceed to video number 6 where we will start from question number 51 Today we are going to cover question number 51 to 60 in part 6 of William Shakespeare's most important MCQs. All these MCQs are going to be extremely important for all the literary competitive exams, be it TGT, PGT, DSSSB, UGC NET or MA English entrance. Please cover all these MCQs in detail. Always keep a pen and paper with you and keep noticing each and every important point being told. You will surely get 5 to 10 additional marks by covering this series. Question number 51. In which year were Shakespeare's sonnets published? Correct answer here is option A. 1609. In 1609, Shakespeare's sonnets were published and how many sonnets he has written this question I have asked many a times the answer is 154. Next question question number 52 for what is the phrase the mouse trap used by Shakespeare in Hamlet correct answer is the play within play in Hamlet. The original name of that play was Murder of Gonzago and uh, the plot of that play was quite similar to the murder of Prince Hamlet's father King Hamlet. The way King Hamlet was murdered by his own brother the same is the plot of this play and Hamlet wants to see the expressions of Claudius while performing that play that is why he gives it the name the mouse trap. Next question, question number 53. Life is but a walking shadow, a poor player that struts and frets his hours upon the stage. And then is heard no more. In which play do these lines occur? The correct answer here is option C, Macbeth. When Lady Macbeth kills herself, Macbeth states, life is but a walking shadow, a poor Player. Next, very famous quote Others abide or question, thou art free, we ask and ask, thou smiles and art still, or topping knowledge. These lines are written in praise of Shakespeare, of course, who has written these lines. The correct answer is option B Matthew Arnold. Others abide or question, thou art free, we ask and ask, thou smiles and ask still. Others could gently refer to other poets, that is everyone who is not Shakespeare. Shakespeare is such a personality according to Matthew Honor that he is not uh, bound to answer any question asked by anyone. Next question, question number 55. Soul of the age, the applause, delight, the wonder of our stage, my Shakespeare rise. Who praises Shakespeare in these words? The correct answer here is option D. Johnson, Ben Johnson. To the memory of my beloved, the author, Mr. William Shakespeare. This is a poem by Ben Johnson. Next question, question 56. Thou in our wonder and astonishment has built thyself a live long monument and so sculptures in such pomp dost lie that king for such a tomb would wish to die. Who praises Shakespeare in these words? Correct answer is Milton. 
uh, this is a 16 line poem contained within one stanza, uh, one stanza and the lines are divided into heroic couplets too. This means that they rhyme in pairs from the beginning to the end of the poem and Milton chose to further structure this piece in iambic pentameters, a very popular metrical pattern that also happened to be the favorite of Shakespeare. And these lines are completely in praise of Shakespeare. Next question, question 57. The greatest genius that perhaps human nature has yet produced or myriad minded Shakespeare. Nature ne agar ta, abhi tak koi greatest genius produce kiya hai, to that genius is Shakespeare. Who makes this observation? The correct answer is Coleridge. S.T. Coleridge in Biographia Literaria, a book by S.T. Coleridge published in 1817. Next question, question 58. Which of the following was the last play written by Shakespeare? The correct answer here is option C, Tempest. The Tempest is a play by William Shakespeare, probably written in 16... 10 or 16, 11. And thought to be one of the last plays of him, the last work written alone. Please note that thing. The Two Noble Kinsmen is a Jacobian tragic comedy which is also considered to be written last by him. It was first published in 1634 and attributed to John Fletcher and William Shakespeare. So, the Two Noble Kinsmen was written in contribution with John Fletcher. Its plot uh, derives from the Knight's Tale in Geoffrey Chaucer's The Canterbury Tales, which had already been dramatized at least uh, twice before. And this play is believed to have been Shakespeare's final play before he retired to uh, his hometown, Stratford upon Avon, and died um, three years later. So, Tempest written alone the last play and we can say the two noble kinsmen written along with john fletcher next question question 59 the rarer action is in virtue than in vengeance this is the summing up of shakespeare's philosophy of life in which play does he express this philosophy the correct answer here is tempest Prospero tells Ariel that the rarer action is in virtue than in vengeance. That is, it is better to forgive than to hate one's enemies. This is the example that Prospero provides in reuniting everyone in the final scene of Tempest. Next question, question 60. I'll break my staff, bury it certain fathoms, fathoms which is a distance measurement in the earth and deeper than did ever plummet sound i'll drown my book in these words shakespeare pronounces the ending of his dramatic career in which play does he pronounce it prospero condemns magic and says to achieve my goal of affecting the sense of those at whom i aim my spell i'll break my staff then I'll bury it deep underground and throw my book of magic into the sea so that it sinks farther than any anchor has ever reached. These are the lines spoken in The Tempest and it seems that Shakespeare is pronouncing the ending of his dramatic career. At the end, let us do one very famous quote by Shakespeare and let us know in which play it was used. Are you sure that we are awake? It seems to me that yet we sleep, we dream. Midsummer Night's Dream. Yes, it is taken from that. When Act 4 opens, Demetrius is not sure what is real, what is fantasy, what is dream. He asks his uh, mates, Helena, Hermia, Lysander, are you sure that we are awake? It seems to me that yet we sleep, we dream. When he realizes uh, they are awake, he tries to reassure himself that the night's events were fictional by saying, let us recount our dreams. 
so we have reached to the end of part 6 of this video we will continue with uh, video number 7 as well in video 7 we will discuss more about globe theater globe theater se related questions bhi bahut hi important hote hain please do watch the further videos as well uh, in the meanwhile you may join the classes to cover all the topics in detail you can click the link in description to reach to us for admission purpose please do not forget to share and subscribe the channel thanks a lot for watching best of luck for your exams and please do tell me your score out of 10 in the comments of this video